Welcome back to the Carla Crusher channel. I'm here with Gage, Luke, and then Kyle's gonna be out here in just a second. We've got the whole Crusher crew. We're gonna do another RC car video today because in our last video, we did RC car Baja bolt wheels that went in the sand where we replaced the wheels with solid bolts sticking out and that was awesome. It worked really well. It was really cool. But we have a better idea today. Check this out. So every RC car has four wheels, right? Unless yeah. it's like a tri car or something crazy like that. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna take that wheel and we're gonna attach extra wheels onto it so that every wheel actually has four wheels like this coming off of it. So no matter which way, and see here's the thing is that these wheels can spin any which direction circular around. So while it's trying to go this way and drive forward, each individual wheel also has a circular rotation to it. It can go any which way. <laughs> That's could, crazy. It could also get hung up in between like if it's driving and on the flat ground, two wheels are happen to be on the bottom, you know, like this, then uh, It'll be interesting to see as these two wheels fight over each other with the big wheel. So, I don't know. It's a crazy idea. <laughs> it is very <weird. laughs> I just want to see what's going to happen. It's going to be really interesting. It'll be fun. So I got all the wheels that they actually had at Walmart, and I don't even know if this is going to be the best car to do it or not. We might need to get Zippy. In fact, why don't you grab Zippy? Right it has smaller wheels, so it might be better. That's yeah, that's what I'm thinking. See, because if you have four wheels and they're like this, swung apart, then there's a big gap in between each one, and they'll just smack really hard. So maybe a smaller wheel will bring these closer together. Is this a smaller wheel? Yeah. I don't know. Is that going to be better or worse? Not it might, sure. I'm not sure. It might be better to have a more powerful car to be able to turn all that extra weight too. So. The Erevo's already got the batteries in it. I'm already, see, initially my idea was to use Zippy, which is this car here, one of our favorites. And I think it is working right now, although the tail fin got broken off in the last video that we filmed. But I think these wheels are a little bit too small and Zippy might not have the power. So maybe the Erevo will be a little bit better because look, it looks like these almost fit perfectly on there any which way they go, forwards or sideways. Yeah, I think if we go like that, we could just even like glue them and then tape them right on. Here we go, skiing work. Yeah, there, there we, go. we go. All signs point to E-Revo being the, the car for the day, so. All go. right, you get the wheels on wheels car. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, here, this is gonna be fun. Just gonna put a hot glue on there to temporarily hold the wheel in place. And that way we can come back with the Gorilla Tape and <laughs> mount them on there, hopefully so it will withhold up to the driving. So we'll see. Okay, here we go. Now we just tape all these down. We have a lot more wheels to go. That is we for sure. We have a whole lot of tape, so that's okay. <laughs> we're gonna have plenty. <laughs> but we're gonna mod this and customize it. The one thing we have to do is make sure we don't tape it so that these things can spin still. Right. Make it so they can still so they're gyroscopic. That's right. I guess that's probably not the right word, but. <laughs> there we go. mean but really impractical so far <laughs> yeah. yeah i'm gonna be interested we were talking about it off camera like we we're wondering if it could go upstairs i know Maybe, right like it would be really interesting to try and test that it might be able to actually just rock crawl right up the stairs we'll just have to see i don't know we don't even have any stairs at this house but if it comes down to it we'll build some kind of like an obstacle course out of yeah. some wood and debris that we find around here yeah. but we're almost done constructing it the whole Crusher crew's working on it. We got one more little wheel to put on them. We'll have four on four. I wish they would have had more to where we could, ha could have like entirely surrounded the wheels, but we'll see what it does and we might have to do this for round two. There it is. 
Last one. Last little one for this field. I like it how it can actually sit normal on the ground, but then once you get up to speed, maybe the arc, once it gets going and the yeah. wheels spin up, maybe it'll get all crazy. I wonder if, like, if it gets going fast enough that it'll just stay in one place because it has wheels on wheels, you know? Like what if it starts to drift? Like, oh yeah, drift maybe it'll start bit, drifting right? like a roll, like a furniture oh, cart. I know, <laughs> it looks really cool though. I'm excited about it. This E-Revo has been a good car, but we're probably gonna bust it today with this yeah. one. Yeah. So is the durability of the E-Revo gonna hold up better than the Gorilla Tape, or which one's gonna fail first? It kind of depends. But we'll take turns driving it around and see what happens. It's time. Look at this, it's like we're walking out on the day of Armageddon to save the world. <laughs> Here comes the Crusher crew walking out with our diabolical looking wheels on wheels RC <laughs> Look at car. That. What do you think's gonna happen, Kyle? Uh, either the wheels break off and the tail, or the, and the tick fails, or the e is gonna break. One of the two. I don't know, I think that it's gonna end up going so fast it's gonna stay in one place because of all the wheels on it. Ah. And it's gonna start drifting around. What do you think, Luke? I think it's gonna be a lot of clacking. Like definitely it's not gonna be smooth uh -huh. compared to like a saw blade, you know? Right. But I think it will work. I think it will work. I think the turning's gonna be interesting, but we'll see how it works. Yeah, I think <laughs> anytime that we stop and the wheels are in the out position, it's gonna be yeah, out of control. Yeah, it's gonna stop and then keep sliding. It's gonna be going around. from control to out of control, which means it's probably gonna mostly be out of control. Yeah. yeah. There's only one way to find out. Let's do it. So Gage is gonna stand inside the shelter of the driveway, <laughs> so you're not drove crazy by the wind blowing. Kyle's firing up. The E-Revo, and we're going to try it out right now, see oh, yeah. if it works. I wonder if it, is it even going to turn itself, or is it just going to go out of control? You might be relying on the wheels to turn, to be honest. That is yeah. true. We're trying out the Wheels on Wheels RC car. First test. First test, here we go. Will it even drive? <laughs> it's acting like it doesn't even want to go. Uh-oh. Hang on, let's see. Do I need to hold it up a little bit? Will the wheels even spin? I forgot it was four wheel drive. Wait, it's like not even. Is it too heavy? Are the wheels too heavy? Look at this. Look. The transmission side. Are the batteries almost dead? I don't even know. Uh oh. It's turning. Okay, we're gonna try some different batteries in the Revo and see if it. Right now, it's like the weight from the wheels on there. It doesn't even want to spin the tires. Oh no. I don't think they're that heavy though. It seems like it should be able to go. We got fresh batteries. Fresh batteries. I don't know if it's gonna make any kind of a difference whatsoever, but. All right. Hold on. Is it working right now? Hang on, let's see. Is it on? That feels a little better. It still does not want to even rotate the wheel. Oh, no. No. Okay, ready? Okay. We're gonna get it up to speed, and then you just gotta let it go down the driveway. Ready? Yeah. Okay, wait, get it going. Get him going. Get the wheels going. Come on. You can do it. It wanted to go for a second. Come on. Just trying to. Let's just try and like get it started yeah, down the driveway. Yep. Set. <laughs> 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 yeah. Set. Oh no! This is the God. worst design flaw. The car does not even have the guts. We have decided not to give in, not to surrender. We will not surrender, we will not give up. We have an RC car shop for a reason. We're just gonna pick another car, a bigger one, and we came out with design number two. Kyle's got our X-Max picked out right here, so we're gonna take all the caster wheels off of the E-Revo, and what we're gonna do is put them all only on the rear tires of the X-Max. So the front tires are gonna be normal, and the rear wheels are gonna be double, triple, quadruple crazy wheels. This is already shaping up to be a much better design, I think. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot funner because we can also steer, and this is four wheel drive, right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so this is definitely gonna be going forward using these front tires, and it's gonna be able to steer, and it's gonna be able to drift around with all these different tires on the back. So I think it's gonna work out really well. I'm interested to see what's gonna happen with 
these tires when they start going and spinning? Like, are these tires going to end up flying off and going everywhere? Are they going to stay put? I don't know. It's going to be really interesting. But we're going to have all points of contact on the ground. Hopefully, the wheels will actually turn. We'll squirt some WD-40 in here. And let's put it together and give it a shot. Let's try it. We've got eight wheels on each rear wheel. It is quite a bit of weight. It's really heavy in the back, so hopefully it has the gusto to turn it, but it's time to take it outside and test it. It looks really cool, I'll yeah. tell you that much. <laughs> it looks awesome. I'm really excited to see if this is gonna work. We could have taken the time to give it like a crazy fancy paint job for the rear wheels, but we just wanted to make sure it was working today, yeah. and hopefully this one does. Ooh, that's so much better. Oh, oh there we go. Nice. Getting some WD-40 in there. Yeah, we're gonna grease it all up and get them going good. This is gonna be fun. Yeah. I think this is gonna work. All right, see if it even goes. Oh! Hey! Hey! That's the wrong thing. Okay, you ready? Yep. So it's down here. Kai, are you gonna give it its first little test drive? Yeah. All let's, right, let's find let's out. Go. Wheels on wheels, RC car. Wait, 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 hang on one second. You ready? Yeah. Yeah, I think we're all ready to go. Yeah, yeah. Okay, you stand off to the side. Let's let him test it out here. Okay, here we okay. go. Go for it, Kyle. Yeah! Oh, oh my gosh, this is so nuts. Look at this. Oh, we lost one already. Okay, so they're not quite taped up really good. Keep driving around. Go a little faster, Kyle. <laughs> I'm a little bit. <laughs> oh! Wheels are flying off into the air. <laughs> it was it was working though. It was working. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, okay, I think we proved the point. <laughs> we did it. That was a good idea. I'm yeah. glad that we followed through and we switched trucks and everything so that we could figure out how to make it work because that was that cool. Was and really, awesome. We didn't lose as many wheels as we thought. We only lost like, oh, never mind. Five. That is a lot. Oh, yeah, how many came off? We got like five of them came off. Eight. No, it was more than that, like 16 wheels. And it looks like, wait, it looks like the side that you taped up lost most of them. <laughs> hey! Well, you know. <laughs> we tried though, that was yeah, pretty good. Did. Guys, our RC car with wheels on wheels worked. We even had to do two different prototype designs. If you guys think that we could improve on it even more, let us know down in the comments below. And if you have any other cool ideas for us, also let us know. And subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Bye.